It all starts with getting out the door and finding a new place to see and experience. You can't say, okay, I want to reach this goal, but I'm only going to do the pieces along the way that I enjoy. Even though we all live in these little silos of our own lives. If we can realize that we are sharing a lot of these experiences, then we can understand each other a little bit better. It's so important to think about past experiences and use those to determine our decisions for the future. After the Air Force Academy, my first duty station was Malmstrom Air Force Base in Great Falls, Montana. One of my big goals while I was there was to embrace the local culture and kind of the culture I found myself in was that backpacking, adventuring, and pushing your boundaries with new hobbies and new loves and enjoying the land as much as you can. Now, coming back to Arizona, I'm coming in with a whole new mindset to go explore, and I'm seeing all new trails, all new destinations that I never visited or even knew about when I was growing up here. I was so focused on cross-training, on nutrition, on therapy, on seeing acupuncture. Cairo, ART, massage, to feel like, gosh, I'm doing everything I can and I'm still getting injured. It's like, what is my body telling me? And especially of all years in Olympic year, it was super devastating. I went and saw a doctor, told me I had a sacral stress fracture, and then told me I can't put any pressure on it. So that's what brought me to swimming, was I was told it was the only thing I could do. Getting in the pool to me is brutal. I hate jumping in and being freezing really beat up. I know it's something that's good for me and good for my body. That's not, it's just part of what I need to do in order to do what I love. Sounds like we're gonna have some of that where people are coming and going in different ways and seeing each other. But as you all know, it just, it's motivating to see the other people out there. Pace leaders do their jobs based upon their own personalities um, and their strengths. A star paces very different from myself, who paces very different from one of our leaders who, before each race, comes up with songs and chants. But at the same time, we're all focused on the fact that we have to be strong and nurturing, but also friendly and, and kind to help them achieve their goal. With 12,000 people in this event, it is critical that you are lined up and lined up earlier. We get so caught up in, in all of the numbers and are we hitting the right times? Are we running the right splits? And I think when we're able to get out of that lonely place and start connecting with other people in our groups, I think we start to kind of normalize those doubts and fears that we all have and remember the greater joys that running brings us. Ready. Series race provided the competition category had a minimum of four athletes start in the spot class. Okay, so then... In second grade, my teacher started noticing that I wasn't seeing the chalkboard and I was looking really close at books. And so for the next two to three years, I basically went to every eye doctor and specialist. But the most difficult thing to deal with at that time was they actually couldn't find what was going on. So they thought that I was doing it for attention and sent me to a psychologist and neurologist. Then in sixth grade, a doctor at the University of Michigan, first time he saw me right away was like, I, I don't know how they didn't notice this. It's so obvious. It's juvenile macular degeneration, um, and it's continually progressed over time where now I only have about 20% of my vision. But when I look back at what I've accomplished and, and my successes, it even overwhelms me. I feel as though in 35 years, I, I've done more than maybe I thought I would in 80 years. You 
just run past that one route where you don't even know where it goes. You run past it just weekly or daily even. And it feels pretty awesome when you finally take the other turn and just let's see where this goes. And sometimes you surprise yourself. You're going to find the new usual route the more you explore. I think what runners are capable of when they work together and, and form a team is so much more than what any one of those individuals thought that they were capable of. Connecting through running many times is beyond the running. The running is a mechanism. We're not going to be connected through the fact that we traveled 26 miles together, but we're going to be connected through how they were able to open up or someone else in the group experienced the same thing that they're going through because they're not out there simply to run. They're there pursuing something else. Running is the easiest part for me. It's the part that I enjoy and what I love to do and commitment is just that like intrinsic fire where I don't feel like I've accomplished everything. I feel like there's more to me and more to my running. I don't specifically tell myself, Aaron, we're going to reflect on life right now, but because of the endorphin effect that running brings on, it really serves as a calming mechanism and just kind of as a relief from everything in the world. And I think that's the thing that I love the most about it is it just comes naturally that I reflect during running. It It can be whatever you need it to be. So it's really important to find your own personal balance and running is just such a great way to do that. Wanna go, wanna go.